This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a police officer? Ever wondered what police actually do? How accurate are television movie portrayals? Well, here's a hint. Not very accurate. Well, now you can get an inside look. Kirksville Police is once again offering their Citizens Academy class. And to learn more about it and how you can enroll, we have Police Chief Jim Hughes here this morning. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. Hello. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. So you this bet. will be the third year. It will be. That you're uh, offering this course. When will it be taking place? Uh, basically, runs from August through November. I believe the starting date is August the 11th. Okay, and so this is a, a multi-week course. It's not just like a one-day course or anything like that. No, it runs 13 weeks. Okay. And it covers about 40 hours of instruction, and it's not just lecture. There's a mm -hmm. lot of interactive uh, you know, type of events. We want it to be uh, structured so that people ask a lot of questions, give us an opportunity to explain some okay. of the funny things we do. Yeah, so let's go into more detail. I know that every week is kind of broken up into different sections. You know, you have, I took this class three years you ago. Do. So uh, you have detectives coming in, you have the prosecuting attorney coming in, mm -hmm. the sheriff coming in, you come in as well, I officers do. come in as well. So what types of classes do they teach? Well, first, let me just mention, I mean, you, you kind of touched on it. I mean, one of the reasons we're doing this mm -hmm. is what most people think they know about policing comes from movies yeah. or television or sensational headlines, which mm -hmm. isn't what we do. So this is an opportunity not only to learn about what police do, mm -hmm. uh, but specifically what your local police do. So it is actually not just the Kirksville uh, Citizens Police Academy, it's the uh, Adair County, uh, Kirksville Adair County. So you'll get to hear uh, not only from me and a lot of the officers from the Kirksville Police Department about what it is we do, but you hear from the Sheriff's Department uh, get a chance to let, take a look at the jail. You'll meet the 911 director, get to see what the 911 center looks like, Truman State Uni University Department of Public Safety. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get to hear from the prosecuting attorney, which is very enlightening about, you know, truly what it takes to make a case, which is a little bit different than what you see on television. Mm -hmm. Matt Wilson will be there. So it's a, it's basically just a very broad, um, mm -hmm. a basic understanding uh, we try to impress upon people about what it is that we do. And probably one of the more important things, not really as much what we do, but it gives us an opportunity to explain why we do some of the things mm -hmm. that we do, that we have reasons for it. Mm -hmm. And so does it cost anything for it somebody not, to enroll? Mm -mm, not a thing. Okay. And who would be interested in taking this class? Somebody that wants to go into law enforcement or is it, you know, everyday person that just kind of is interested in what you guys do? Yes. <laughs> no, no, it, it's it's very broad based. Yeah. Certainly, we are always interested in those who are thinking about a career in mm -hmm. law enforcement. But it wasn't designed for that. Mm -hmm. It was designed for those who really hadn't had an idea or a thought about going into law enforcement and just wanted to know what what happens. Um, you know, this is the second agency that I've been involved with this kind of a program, and and I've had over the last twenty some years, I've had a, a people for a lot of different reasons. Some of which come in just because. They're not a big fan of policing, mm -hmm. uh, and they want to try to get a, a, a straight story on why we do some of the things we do. And so they get an opportunity to talk to us, ask mm -hmm. us, have us demonstrate what it is mm -hmm. that we do and, and why we do that. And, you know, in those instances, I mean, th that's a perfect candidate for somebody to attend this academy. Um, oftentimes, they don't necessarily leave any more fans of the police mm -hmm. than they came in, although they do a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But they, when they leave, they understand that we have a reason for what they do. They mm -hmm. may not agree with it, but they mm -hmm. understand we're just not being, um, you know, random. We have really some tried and true reasons for what it is that we do. So mm -hmm. we look forward. We've had people in there from 17 in this particular academy here. I know 17. I think the oldest so far has been 77. Mm -hmm. So it just runs the whole gamut at mm -hmm. just, you know, whatever... Uh, makes you interested, makes you qualified to attend. All right. Now, uh, speaking of qualifications, what do you have to do to be qualified? I know there is some sort of background check. Correct? There is some kind of a background. Uh, the the reason for that, a lot of people wonder, is you know we we go over some very sensitive um, issues, policies, procedures, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. So we just want to know who it is that's in class. Mm -hmm. uh, over the, the the previous years that we've done this, I'm trying to remember if we've even ever excluded anybody. We just kind of want to know right. who, who, who's in that. Uh, at this point in time, we require that somebody be f either work and or live in Adair County, which okay. is which is pretty broad. But we're also pretty flexible about okay. that. It's just somebody says, if I live in Knox County, Schuyler, 
you know, somewhere like that, and they said, hey, I'd really like to attend, uh, we've got room for them. I mean, we're not going to turn them down. Okay, perfect. And it's a, about an hour class, correct? Every once once a night, correct? No, a it's, a, it's, a, it's basically about three hours. Um, it is three hours. So, it was but, from 6.30 so, to 9.30. But you had now so I much remember. fun. You just <laughs> thought, it, you just thought it was an hour. I did. And it is hands-on. I do highly recommend it. I mean, I wasn't, I mean, I'm interested in police work now because of my fiance. But before then, I was just interested in what they did on a day-to-day -day basis. And it right. was really hands-on. And it was a fun course. And we have a little graduation at the end. You have a little graduation. And, you know, it's really interesting. A lot of people bring their family members yeah. to it. it. It's quite an accomplishment. I'm always impressed yeah. with the class that will take three hours out of their own personal mm -hmm. time to attend something like this yeah. and then stick with it for the 13 weeks. Yeah. It's, it's very impressive. And we also have a, a, a really nice example of somebody actually moving forward with that career and going into the Sheriff's Academy and now as a police officer, Aaron Falwell. He Aaron was Falwell. in my class. He was, as a matter of fact. And now he's a police officer. Absolutely. Well, what we'll do is we'll post everything okay. on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll link up the information, what they need to know in order to register. I know there is a deadline to register. There um, is, but we're fairly flexible okay. on that as well. The long and the short of it is, I mean, this is Kirksville, Adair County mm -hmm. uh, you know a lot of people know their officers and we want them to know the department and so if somebody wants to attend and we have an opening even if they call us the week before we prefer not we need to okay. know um, how many we have and we actually have to have a minimum number of attendees to hold okay. the class uh, but if they call us just a few days beforehand we get a chance to do the background check we'll, we'll get them in perfect all right well thank you so much thank Chief, you and I we'll be right that. back